Welcome back on this Monday morning. Happy New Year, by yes, the way. Yes, we made guys. it to 2023. Did. 2023 has arrived, and mm -hmm. so is the morning mix. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here at KPIX, we extend our condolences to Barbara Walters' family for their loss. Uh, Walters' representative said she passed away peacefully in her home, surrounded by loved ones on Friday. Now, she was a pioneer for women working in journalism today, and she will never, ever be forgotten. Colleagues and stars took to social media to express their thoughts on Walters. NBA legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar tweeted out, Barbara Walters never flinched when questioning the world's most powerful people. She held them accountable. Walters, The View co-star, Star Jones, said, I owe Barbara Walters more than I could ever repay. Rest well, sister, mother, friend, colleague, mentor. And tennis legend Billie Jean King said, a true trailblazer. She was the first woman anchor on the evening news, and I was privileged to know her. These were only some of the hundreds and hundreds of warm comments on the iconic journalist. And I, I mean, she was someone I admired very much. And mm -hmm. I know I was, I watched her growing up and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this as mm -hmm. well. So, I mean, it, we say it's a loss for her family, which it of course is, but it's a loss for so many people yeah, in is. this world. I mean, she was such a legend. We, we were talking about this all morning long. Yeah. I, just for all journalists, I know we talk a lot about how she paved the way for female journalists, for all journalists. She really set an example of what we should be doing. Her tenacity, her dog determination mm -hmm. to even ask the question that so many of us wanted. She yeah. was not afraid. She wasn't, no. She yeah. didn't take no for an answer. Mm -mm. Yeah, not at all. All right. Well, let's switch gears and talk a little baseball. MLB superstar Carlos Correa's journey this offseason. It's been filled with some twists and turns, to say the least. More than maybe a Game of Thrones episode. <laughs> Currently, he's landed in agreement with the New York Mets. But, yes, it's pending his physical it's a theme here, which is exactly what happened with the Giants. So unfortunately, this delay isn't going to turn him over to the Bay Area. Sorry if anybody was hoping. The president of baseball operations for the Giants said their focus is now elsewhere and that the chances of a deal are pretty unlikely based on their position. Initially, though, the Giants and Correa agree to a 13-year, $350 million contract. Again, an issue with Correa's physical. And less than one day after, they were no longer executing that deal. So the Mets and Correa, they agreed to a 12-year, $350 million deal, but that's in limbo apparently as well. Yeah. I mean, for me, it was the storyline. How amazing would it be if it was like the Mets swoop in and the mm -hmm. Giants swoop back mm -hmm. in? That's what I was hoping for, but I, I mean, based on this article, it seems like it's not going to happen. No, and I I, I think everyone's, it's, it's not just us. The Mets mm -hmm. have an issue too, so yeah. we're see, getting more I have more so many questions. Though. I want to know what's going on. Yeah. Do you think the Mets are going to come with like an alternate deal? or? I'm sure they're, I'm, mm. possibly, yeah. possibly. Okay. All right, one more story for you. On-screen kisses can be a little awkward, but for one glass onion actress, she is ranking those kisses, and she's not afraid to be honest about it. I love the story. During a lie detector test with her co-star, Janelle Monae, actress Kate Hudson and spilled some tea on which actors had the skills when it comes to lip locking and which ones could use a little work. Hudson says Billy Crudup, her counterpart and Almost Famous, had some impressive skills. While she wasn't so enthused about kissing Dane Cook in My Best Friend's Girl, ouch. Her favorite on-screen kiss, however, was one with Liv Tyler in Dr. T and the Women. She's wow. kissing and telling. Mm. She is. And you know, not afraid to. So apparently eight years ago, Dane Cook said in an interview he did not like his kiss. With oh. So I'm sure that was kind of a slap yeah. back at that. Probably. But what about Matthew McConaughey? I was, I was, I was gonna say, where is that? Where does that rank? How to lose a guy in ten days? That was so good. She said it, it was. She said it was nice and gentle, but. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna go listen to that podcast. <laughs>